there welcome back to my channel okay so as you can see I got my nail stand happening so it means experimenting time again uh, my previous video um, I did bubble nails and these were the ones I did now what I did um, I top coated the blue one just to see how it would look and you still have a bit of the bubble effect but pretty much lost a lot of it and then I also did this one as well you can still see some of it um, but for the most part it does get rid of um, the bubble effect when you do top coat it um, but I left uh, these two and this one as well um, so anyway back to today's video I had um, on my Instagram a lady ask if you could do it with regular polish and I actually kind of thought about it and, and was planning on doing this video anyway because as you know I do gel and regular polish and I know a lot of my followers do uh, one or the other or both like me um, and I knew that someone would ask me if you could do it on regular polish so um, this one is called Folly and it's a sinful color so I tried to get like a cream to try and then this is my Morgan Taylor uh, Sir Teal to you I'm kind of really loving this color and it's um, kind of like got a bit of a shimmer I've got two black nails and one white and um, they're sinful colors black on black and snow me white um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an alcohol ink one and then this one I'm gonna do I've got um, magnetic polish um, this one's a born pretty and it's a 3d magnetic aura series and it's called the gravity and then that's the order number on it um, so that's what one of the black ones is going to be. So I just wanted to kind of try different effects. Um, it's only 3D. I don't have any of the 9D yet like everybody else does. Um, but um, yeah. Anyway, so first off, I need to, because I'm going to do alcohol inks, they work best with um, a matte top coat. So I'm going to use my B Bio. It's a matte top coat, and this one is from Bio Seaweed. And um, it's, uh, it's an awesome mat. I'm kind of loving this one. You can use any mat, um, regular polish, I'm sure. Um, it's just the one I grabbed. So we're gonna, oops. I think my husband's playing this music already. Okay, so that is this one and then on this guy I am going to so first off I've done it black and then what I always do is I'll do one coat as the base and then usually I try and do a second coat but we'll see how the magnetic works Hold the magnet. Oops. Crap. Sorry. I touched it. I always do that. I get kind of my start to shake. But it's kind of got the cool magnetic effect. So I will let those two guys dry for now. Um but I've got um, my bubbles in my bottle. This is the same one as I used for the, um, the regular, or for the gel polish. It's just um, a few dro drops of Dawn dishwashing soap and some water. Um, nothing, nothing exciting. Okay, so let's try the pink one first. So basically, um, where it is? Okay, so I've got my, Okay, I lost the lid. 
I will look for it shortly. Okay, so I'm just taking sesh feet and we're gonna put it on the nail. Okay, and while it is wet, I'm gonna pop some bubbles out. And I'm just kind of spreading them a little bit. Like I don't want to smoosh them onto the polish. And remember you're trying to get dry bubbles. You don't want wet ones. Okay, so we're going to put this one aside. And we're going to try this guy. So this is going to have to sit and dry for at least five minutes because I want to make sure it's fully dry. And squish out some more bubbles. And I saw on Instagram um, Hillary Dawn Herrera or whatever. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, but anyway, she used one of those soap dispensers that um, automatically do the foaming for you. So you just push it and it comes out foamed. Um, I don't have one of those at the moment, so, but I, th I find this bottle works really well. So for me, I don't like doing the bowl thing. That was kind of, kind of like this way but if you have one of those soap dispensers that automatically foam uh, I would use that okay I gotta shake this guy up a little bit more because it's hard to get the bubbles out now whoops squished it. <laughs> okay, don't squish your bottle when it's still went right after you shake it because you just got the wet bubbles. You want dry bubbles. So I don't know if this one's going to work because I kind of took my time on it. Okay. Okay, so... I don't know. Things are rolling on my desk. I don't know where they're going. Okay. So, for this guy, I'm just going to put that back there. Um, so, I've got my alcohol inks. These are the Jim Holtz ones. Um, I've got them from Michael's. So, I just grabbed three. I kind of like these ones, they're a little more pigmented than the others. So, and then I got these little eyelash thingies um, from, that's the order number, I guess. I think I got it out off of AliExpress, big pack of them. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Oh. Okay, don't squeeze when you tip it over. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, crap. Okay, don't do that. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I hope this comes off. So when you're squeezing, don't, <laughs> look at this, looks like I'm bleeding it. <laughs> it wouldn't be a video without me spilling something, doing something. Oh my God. I just. Let's do some 
purple. So I got the three colors. So now I've got my alcohol dispenser, so I'm just going to squish out a little bit, and then I'm going to take a clean swab. nice that you can um, you can do this with regular polish like look it looks so cool to wherever you touch and what I do is I just take the little swabby thing and then I just kind of wipe it on my little paper towel that I got going on over here and take some of it off when I want where it's too concentrated. And then if I want a little more, I just kind of dip into it, into the alcohol. There, kind of like that. My problem is I play too much and then I don't like it anymore. So we're going to stop there. Okay. And get this out of the way. <laughs> and I'm going to do one more coat of the 3D polish. careful and not touch my nail. And I hold it, I don't know, five, ten seconds. Oh, that's a nice line. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna let, I'm gonna put these two guys aside. Um, and then these guys are still going. So I'm gonna let them sit for a little bit longer and um, we'll come back. So hang tough, I'll be right back and I'm gonna go wash. <laughs> so um, I went and top coated this one. I used um, my smudge free maniology because um, it's a water-based top coat and I didn't want all of this to smear. Doesn't it look pretty? And then I top coated um, the magnetic. Um, I did that off camera and because I, I figured, well, I was going to take Daisy out for, we took her out for a little jaunt in the backyard. So, and uh, stay tuned for the end of the video. I got to I get a video of Simon, my cat, if you guys haven't figured out who Simon is yet. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to post it. He's, he's, he's a little bit crazy. Okay, so I'm just taking some of my sush feet and putting that all over the nail. And I've got my bubbles. So, just kind of 
squishing it down a bit. I'm trying not to drag it. I'm just kind of trying to smush it. I don't know if that's a technical term, but it is now. Smush. Okay, so that one's covered. So then we will top coat the magnetic one. Sit. I'm just going to move them over there. Oops, turn my light off. Sorry. Sorry, playing. Okay, so now um, these are the nails. Okay, so this is the blue one. So I guess I the bubble must have slid off of there. But you can see it actually did work. And then here's the pink one. It's harder to see in the viewfinder, but in person it, um, it worked quite well. And then on the black one, look at that. So it actually, I think the bubbles are, no, the bubbles are dry. So look at that. So it does work on regular polish. Um, I just let it dry enough so it just all the bubbles evaporated. So I would my only thing would be just make sure you have bubbles everywhere. And uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna just wait for these other ones to dry. So I will be back shortly. Okay, one moment. Okay, so I'm back and these are the other two. So the magnetic and the alcohol inks and they worked as well. Um, so you can see all the bubbles. So it's very cool. Um, I'm not super into textured polishes so Personally, I don't know, I might be able to wear it for like a day or so, but then it would drive me insane, so I would end up taking them off. Um, I know as soon as you top coat it, you'll lose the effect of the bubbles, so I wouldn't recommend top coating them. They've already been top coated, so, um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a cool technique, and it's very cool that you can do it on regular polish and as well on gel polish. So I just wanted to show all my viewers um, that you could do them on both. So, um, and yeah, they, they, they do lose their effect once, um, once you top coat it. I mean, it's still bumpy, but you can't see, you can't see the little bubbles anymore. So. And that's the whole point of this technique is to see the bubbles. So, so in case you're curious, yeah, don't top coat it. But I think it turned out very cool. So there you have it. You can do this bubble technique on regular polish. Anyway, um, I will link the the gel one down below if you want to take. Um, a peek at that one as well and uh, thank you for hanging out with me while I do my little experiment and I hope you guys are having a great weekend okay bye
Did I disturb you? <laughs> He's in the middle of our lawn. Sleeping. I guess the sun moved on him. Where's Daisy? They went back to sleep. Silly Simon.